another guy told me today, he said, ask, ask him what he thinks of working for Candelo. <laughs> There's a chapter on Candelo. The whole thing. You did the, did you do the death tour? I did the death tour. <laughs> I, mean, I almost killed Tony. Twice. I, I couldn't believe this guy, you know, okay. You start out in the business and you're, you're, you're trying to find work and you're getting it. And I get a phone call out of nowhere. And it's Tony Candelo. And he says, you know, he's talking like uh, the greatest guy in the world, you know. And he says, 750 a week. All expenses, room, board, you got everything. I said, kidding, you know, I mean, back then, that's pretty good, you know, to learn to get, you know, nine week tour, we're going up in the, all through Canada, you have a great time. I said, man, I'm in. So right before he hung up, he says, don't forget to sleep in bed. <laughs> Well, you know, I actually got involved with, uh, I used to fight in MMA, like just train a little bit. And, and I fought for Candelo at the first show he promoted, but oh he, God. uh, he was doing wrestling shows. And about a year and a half ago, I helped him put on a show in Portage in my hometown. And he actually stiffed me on some money too. But I know all about the death tours, the, like the death tour. I mean, you got, uh, you know, a wrestler that goes by the name of Vance Nevada. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, Vern is, is his name in town here. He works for uh, an economic development corporation. So I think I'm, I don't think I'm breaking kayfabe too much. Anybody that oh, looks at a newspaper that. is going to have money. But he, uh, uh, he got me involved with Candelo, but he's also done the death tour. And so many guys have done that tour. And they all have a story one way or another about Candelo screwing them over or owing the money. Like everyone from Lance Storm to yourself to Jericho to uh, oh Edge God. and Christian, like all those guys have done it. I got paid. 
Yeah. <laughs> Hot shot, Danny Duggan. Greatest guy in the world, man. I mean, what a, what a promotion he's got going on here. So we're doing a show in, in Winnipeg. Tony Candelo sent some goon guy to say hello to me. <laughs> and I, I came out. I mean, I told him. I said, how old is this son of a gun? He's in his 80s, and he just wanted me to make sure he, he didn't come down to the show, but he wanted to say hello, you know, somebody to say hello to him. I just told him that, you know, <laughs> don't do something to himself. <laughs> God, I couldn't believe you it. Know, the nerve of that guy. Yeah, I've been, uh, I started to support uh, Danny's shows a little bit, in town, and he's, he's doing a good tour, but Tony's trying to counter-program him a little bit, and it's not working very well. I know he is. <laughs> yeah. Danny's too sharp. Danny's a good kid. He, he does a good job. He does a great job, man. That's a diamond in the rough, that territory. Yeah, and, and he's doing it. He's, he's the future of this territory, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. 